In this video, I'll show you how to live stream your Zoom meetings into a private Facebook group. In the last couple of years, Zoom has really become the go-to tool for coaches to connect with their audience. Not everyone can always make the call live, so streaming your calls from Zoom into a private Facebook group is a great way to solve this. It actually does two things. The first is that it creates a notification for everyone in your Facebook group to know that you are now live, and they can just tap on that notification and be taken right into your stream. The second is that it automatically creates an archived video of your call. So if people can't make it live, they can just go back and watch the replay. Okay, so there are a few requirements to get this working. The first is that you're gonna need to have set up a private Facebook group. You can easily do this by going to facebook.com and creating a group. The second is that you'll also need to install the Zoom app into the group. Lastly, you'll need to have a paid Zoom account, which typically costs around 15 bucks a month. Okay, let's jump into it. So first, we're gonna go ahead and set up Zoom. You can go over to zoom.us, go over to the top right and either create an account or sign in. Next, we'll go over to the left sidebar and click on settings. Once in settings, you can scroll down and see all the settings for your Zoom account. The fastest way to find the setting is to just go to the top here and type stream and hit enter. Now you'll see an option here that says allow live streaming of meetings. And you wanna make sure that that is uh, blue and active. You wanna make sure that all of the options are enabled here. So I'm gonna turn on Facebook and also custom live streaming service. You don't need this right now, but this is something that you may want in the future. Now the settings will cover your general Zoom account, but now if you do have a meeting that has been scheduled for the future, you can click into that meeting and scroll all the way down to the bottom here and you'll see that live streaming options are turned on. You can also go down to edit, click edit on the bottom left there, and just make sure that configure live streaming during meeting is checked. Next, let's make sure that your Facebook group is set up correctly. So head over to facebook.com and get to where you can see your private group here. As an admin, you should be able to see some options down on the left and there'll be a see more button down here. So we'll click on that and then I'm gonna scroll all the way down here and go to group settings. Now you can scroll down to the very bottom and look for an option that says apps and there'll be a pencil icon next to it that you can click on to add new apps. So I'm gonna click on this and there's a blue option here that says add apps. I'm gonna click on that. And now in the top left, I'm gonna search for Zoom. And there should be one result that shows up after you type Zoom. So I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna click add. If you wanna make sure you did it correctly, you can scroll to the bottom and click on the edit button again and you should see your new Zoom app installed. Okay, in this last step, let's actually fire up Zoom and we're gonna stream into our private Facebook group. Once you've got Zoom pulled up, you can either just start a new meeting by clicking this orange button right here, or you can go to the top, click on meetings, and you should see a list of all of your upcoming Zoom meetings on the left. You can select one and then click the start button. For this video, I'll go ahead and just set a new meeting here. And there I am on Zoom. And so now what we can do is go over to the bottom uh, right over here and click the more button. Once that's pulled up, you'll see an option to, that says live on Facebook. So I'm gonna click live on Facebook. This will open a new window where you can set the title of your video, a description, and then you can tell Facebook where you want to stream this call. So I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna set the title to my awesome meeting. And when you do your description, one thing that we found that works really, really well is to tell people, hey, we're live and join us on Zoom. And then you can actually include the Zoom link in that description. That just makes it really easy that once you go live, people can then just uh, click in and watch the stream on Facebook or they can click and join you on Zoom. Something like this would be great. Now you can scroll down and Zoom wants to know where do you wanna post this Zoom meeting? So there's a couple options here, I'm gonna zoom in. You can either post it directly to your timeline, so this will be on your uh, personal Facebook profile, or you can share it to your page. So if you have a uh, business page or a ministry page, you can share it to that page. Or the final option is that you can share this content into a private group. So we're gonna go ahead and choose that. 
Lastly, you need to tell Facebook which group you want to share this. So I'm gonna click on here. And lastly, you need to tell Facebook which group it should post to this content. So if you click on this, you can actually go to the top here and search. So I'll use this demo group here and I'll select it. And now I've told Facebook which group to put this content. Let me pause here just for a second. Uh, we have set up your Zoom call and you've started the call. Uh, and we've also prepped that call to go live into your private group. Now it's important to note that you are not live yet. So everything I've done up until this point is something that we typically do five to 10 minutes before we intend on going live. You always wanna leave room for any kind of technical challenges or maybe something's not working as it should. And so just give yourself a little margin. But when you're ready, you can go over and hit this blue go live button. So let's do that now. You should see a notification like this that says your meeting is now being streamed and we'll click got it. And you'll see that uh, Facebook's gonna take you right into that content. So now I have my Zoom call. I'm gonna pull it up here. There's my Zoom call. And I uh, have also, I'm streaming this now live into Facebook. So if I hit play, perfect. And so this is now working and people can then either watch it on Facebook or they can click in and join your Zoom call. When you're finished your call, all you have to do is click the red end call button here on Zoom and that will end your Zoom call, but it will also stop your stream on Facebook. And that's it. To recap, we set up Zoom, we made sure the settings were correct and we enabled all the streaming options. Then we set up our Facebook group and installed the Zoom app. And finally, we actually went live and connected Zoom to our Facebook group. I encourage you to take some time and get familiar with this process. I would recommend actually going through the whole process before you intend to go live. So uh, to carve out some time when you're not about to go live for a meeting and that'll take some of the pressure off. Let me show you a great way to practice this without actually going live to everyone on Facebook. Once you're in your Zoom app, you can click the more button again and click live on Facebook. This time you can just say something like test video and go ahead and share it on your own timeline. And then you can select only me. So this means I can actually go live and I'll click go live. And here I can see that my stream is actually live. And what's happened is it's actually gone live on my profile. So if I go over to my profile and scroll down, you'll see that I'm currently live. But you'll also notice there's this tiny little lock right here, which means only I can see this. So it is the full experience, except only Bruce can see this stream. None of my friends can see it and nobody in my groups can see it. If you found this video helpful, we'd really appreciate if you hit that like button on YouTube and you can also subscribe to get more content like this. As always, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and I'd be happy to answer those for you. We'll see you on the next one.